and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the bike lane, this right here. And what I want to talk about is, first of all, there's a lack of these. There's not enough of these bike lanes. And when there are bike lanes, if you're lucky to be in an area that has some, I have some, there's debris in them. Um, which is never fun because uh, flat tires can be had or just the dangers of things being in there you're trying to dodge them and cars are coming pretty close some of the some of the bike lanes this one's actually not too bad for width really but they're not the greatest you're trying to dodge the right down here as you see there's a There's a sewer drain right here, for example, and that takes half of your bike lane, and you've got only that little section there, unless you go out onto the road, which uh, we don't want to do on a busy road. And I'd like to see more protected bike lanes. I mean, I just don't even have any where I am in this area. You know, there's just none, but... Um, give us protection between us and the car here or take us off of the road like the sidewalk is for people to walk it's funny there's nobody on the sidewalk maybe we could turn the sidewalk into make it into a bike lane instead um, but anyway um, just I just think there's not enough protected bike lanes And if they want to get more people out on bikes, I think that's one way to do it. Because I was reading where there was a study done as to people um, and riding electric bikes or just even just bikes in general. And a lot of people say, yeah, they would love to ride a bike, but what keeps them from riding it is the safety. They, if they had a protected bike lane or the off-road paths they feel protected right because they're off of the road then they're more apt and the study showed three out of every four people felt that way so that's a lot of people that would be willing to ride a bike or would like to ride a bike if it was more safe and and i know a lot of people are going to say well where's the room to put the protected bike lane well or where's the money going to come from well they're always squeezing money out if they want something done there's always money that seems to come for it so i don't know if anybody has any ideas they're they're just what i think we should do and i don't know exactly how we're going to pay for it but Maybe we eliminate something else. Maybe, maybe by being safer, more people are, are maybe gonna leave their car at home and ride the bike. Maybe we need to eliminate the, some of the, uh, car lanes and just make them bike lanes there we go if you have a opinion or comment you'd like to make um, go ahead and leave that in the comments below and let me know what you think I'm just trying to find out ways that we can get more riders out there. But not only the riders, we want to make it safe for everybody too at the same time. So. But I'm hearing that a lot. Uh, people will say that uh, if I get out on the road there and ride, they said they can't believe that I'm going out there 
on the road and riding with the traffic. And then I've had people say that you shouldn't be on the road. Bikes are, shouldn't be on the road with, uh, with cars. Basically, they think they're just for cars and we shouldn't be on the road. Any biker uh, shouldn't be on the road. I mean, some people just don't like bikes, don't like motorbikes, any kind of bike. You know, they're just totally against bikes. I know it's not going to happen in my lifetime, but sometime I would like to see, or I'd like somebody to have the, uh, to see it. It won't be me, uh, because it's probably going to be years and years down the road. But uh, I'd like to see it where we have protected bike lanes, and lots of them, connecting us everywhere. Then we get more people out on their bikes. I think it just would be awesome. this guy over really quick or I'm never going to get out of there. I think it'd be a little harder to get bike lanes, protected ones in residential areas like this. But on some of the more uh, main roads there, uh, I think it would be a great thing. Yet to see a biker here today, except for myself. It's a Sunday afternoon as I record this video, about 2.30 in the afternoon. I've got a temperature about 65 degrees right now. Um, I mean, it's perfect biking weather. Everything is greening up nicely as we approach May. This is the best time of year. seen lots of people out on bikes the last few days but I don't see any today around these parts And in case you didn't know, I'm riding the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. It is a Class 3 e-bike. And if you want to know more about it or would like to purchase one, I have a link in the description. It's a really nice bike. I've been riding this bike a lot since I got it. I'm in uh, gear eight, pedal assist level three. It just cruises along nicely around 18, 19, or 20 miles an hour, like nothing. Of 
course I used the throttle to get me started makes it a little easier than trying to pedal right off the get-go that's why I wouldn't like a class 1 so much because class 1 e-bikes do not have a throttle so you don't have the luxury of getting that little start I'm going to be turning right up here and I'm going to get back onto a bike lane Used a little throttle to get me started there. Sometimes you gotta dodge the branches. cars go by before I make my turn this is where it gets tricky right here is where the bike lane ends and you got to merge in with the traffic and that's a major highway up there 99w and so you got to get into the right lane or left lane and turn to just throw it in. And you have no choice because here you can legally not ride on the sidewalk in Oregon. So you have to pick your lane. But I'm going to be turning left when I get a chance here. So that's going to do it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of protected bike lanes. Would you like to see more of those? Or maybe where you are, do you have bike lanes that are protected? If you do, let me know where you're at because that's pretty cool. And windy. If you uh, like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and support the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And like I say, if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time.
keep your wheels on the road.